Another day, another Fremo Fridays. We're going back to a place from last week. We did their wild front yard last week. Got to finish the backyard, which was even worse. There is so much grass there. We need an equipment change. Off goes one orange machine, on goes another. Look at this, I'm a pro now. Too easy. This is the uh, flower mower's first visit to Store Hub. God, it makes the skag look tiny. I gotta say, I much prefer that shade of orange to that one. That's almost like a powder orange. We're probably gonna need some of these. I've got bins there, but I don't know if it'll be enough. I don't know if there's enough room down the back there. Oh, we might be able to squeeze it in. I don't think we could have got a more snug fit in that corner there. This feels really nimble compared to the flail mower. I mean, they're very different machines. Yeah. Oh, I'm stuck. I've got to say, half the battle in having equipment is having somewhere to store it. So it's been a game changer to have the storage shed here. Skag is on. We're ready for business. I'm just going to leave that there. Going to go over and have some breakfast first. It is 7.40 a.m. All right, so I'm here just waiting for Rob to get here. He's helping me with the uh, filming um, and the editing on this one. Got the skag off all my tools. Uh, I've messaged the lady that lives here last night and this morning. Haven't had a response back, so uh, I hate just walking into these places. Might have to give her a call. We definitely have some potential to be rained on today. I guess it's better than 40 degree heat. All right, so this is a week later. Uh, we knocked down this backyard at the same time we did the front yard. The stuff's broken down quite well. I'm gonna mow over it again, um, and we're gonna put the clippings uh, in the bin that we've got here, but that has really lessened the volume of clippings that we've got to deal with, which is awesome. I feel like it means you've got to uh, only collect about like a quarter or a third of the clippings that you would if you did it on that day. So that's why I do it. Is it a week to break down, but you're still collecting all the garbage so you're not suffocating the lawn. easier to handle okay so I've just put all this into a big pile again never really shows on camera what a pile that is lots of grass here all right now we're gonna put it in the where is it so I'll, I'll rake it up into a bigger pile and uh, then into the bin which is super super handy So that's one of the things I was most concerned about getting done before the rain hits because the grass is really light and easy to handle at the moment. Uh, if it gets rained on, it becomes a nightmare again. This corner is not fun at all. That's all to stop the dog going through the fence. Uh, there's junk there too. I'm gonna give it some good night juice in that section there because it's just, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> How are we going, Rob? Uh, we got rain, which is unfortunate, but hey? it's not pouring, is it? No, but it's enough. I've noticed some, I don't know, have you seen the video? Some of the comments were saying, uh, oh, it's good, you've got Rob, uh, Rob, Robbie, Robert, whoever there. <laughs>
Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, they're sort of wet now. Oh, yeah. This is going to look absolutely dreadful at the end and messy, but I hope you can appreciate that it is a massive difference. Once it's dry, it'll be fine, but the process getting it from uh, what it was to how we're going to get it, it's just a messy process. Now everything is soaked now, so while I would normally carve this edge right out to the um, you know, edge of the concrete, I'm not going to do that today because it's just going to turn to mud and absolutely spray everything and make more mess um, than it's worth. So we're just getting it as good as we can. I know that's not sort of certified lawn detailing that I normally do. It really, <laughs> it's burning me not to be able to do that, but it's just going to be far too messy. Uh, but look, we've got to park here. All right, that worked out okay. Look, there's a little bit of blue sky there. Looks like most of the rain's passed. We're finished now. Did the best we could in the conditions. It was good when I finished. I was able to pack all the gear up. Rob was getting the after shots, which just saved me a lot of time. I think we were gelling a lot better today. He just sort of knew to move the camera, when to move it, which hopefully means we can get more done. I wish it was as simple as just chucking a camera on a tripod, just working and it's done, but I think when you're filming these, particularly on your own, it can take at least double the amount of time um, to do it. It's 10 to 12, so not too bad. We got here just after nine. A quick look at it. Now, full video is gonna be out on uh, Friday. Fremo Fridays are on Friday all the time now. The main videos anyway. We have vlogs on Monday, Wednesday, and Sundays. Fremo Fridays on Friday. That is the channel schedule. Hopefully that's less confusing for people. If you don't like the vlogs, no stress. They're all titled vlogs, so just don't watch them. If you do watch the vlogs, I really appreciate it. It gives me a lot more opportunity to talk to you guys, answer questions, and give you a bit more behind the scenes about what actually goes on, so thank you. Oh, and I've got to thank Manage Waste Service too for those bins that made this job so much easier.
Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm.